here we are today deter trying to determine whether the myth of M&M's melt in your mouth and not in your hand says it right there. And I think it's a little blurry, but that's okay. And here we have Lauren. Now Lauren is going to clench tightly on the purple M&M, which will be in her hand. And let's see if it'll melt. Clenching, clenching, clench. Anything? Nada. Still perfectly M&M-y. Clench some more. Meanwhile, let's put an M&M in your mouth, the blue one, to see if it'll melt. How's your hand doing? Yeah, pretty M&M-y. And your mouth? It's starting to melt, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Tasty? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what has this taught us, Lauren? I'm going to smelt in your mouth, but not your hand. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We were pondering, what could bring this on? And I came up with, perhaps the candy coating on the M&M is water-soluble. So, if you could swallow that M&M, Lauren. Are we good? How's the one in your hand doing? It's uh, still unmelted. Still unmelted? Mm -hmm. mm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Perhaps because it's water-soluble. Probably. My hand's not, uh, not very sweaty. No, it's not. Mm -mm. All right, how's the M&M in your mouth doing? It's gone. Gone? Let's see. Gross. All right, how about you hawk a loogie into your hand? Here, I'll, I'll hold that one for you. That's okay. Okay, hawk a loogie. That's disgusting. And give that one a clench. Let's see how your purple one's doing. Dry, not melted. Mm -mm. How's the yellow one doing? It's starting mm -hmm. to melt, eh? Yeah, you can see it's turning white. That's really gross. And therefore, we have deduced that... While M&M's will not melt in your hand, but will melt in your mouth, it is because your hand is not wet. But when you add saliva to the mixture... See, it's all white. It's losing yeah, its color. Yeah, that's really gross. My hand's all white. Mm -hmm. yellow. When you add saliva to the mixture, M&M's will melt in your hand. That's really gross. Good job, Lauren. Get away from me. Ew.